If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified on every new upload. Assalamu alaikum. Today I'm going to study about No, today you are going. No, today we are going to study about. Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to study about the periapical cyst or the radicular cyst. Periapical or the radicular. So I just restored my computer. So you'll find me facing a lot of problems recording this video because all the settings have been, you know, reverted back to its original position. So everything, you know, is going to be difficult for me. And you might not be able to see the cursor in this video because I tried figuring out how to get back the pen cursor, but I was unable to do so. I forgot how I did it before. Anyways, okay. So this periapical cyst or the radicular cyst has few other names like the apical periodontal cyst or the root end cyst. Okay. So how does it occur? The first question is how does it occur? So in short, we have a teeth. Okay. And it gets carious. So this teeth, it gets carious. And we also know that we have our pulp here so this caries it enters the pulp and means the infection enters the pulp and then reaches the apex of the tooth and here a granuloma is formed okay as a defense mechanism it's a defense mechanism by the body a granuloma is formed because it wants to limit the spread of the infection from here to the surrounding structures so a granuloma is formed and then this granuloma is converted into cyst because of lack of blood supply and we'll see how. So this is in short on how periapical cyst usually happens. So we started that the periapical cyst occurs due to dental caries. The most obvious cause is dental caries, the progress of dental caries. And there could be other reasons also such as tooth fracture tooth fracture or improper restoration improper resto restoration so these could be the reason but this one it is the most frequent etiology okay so now we'll see the pathogenesis in little detail why and how does it occur so we have a carious tooth here okay and this cyst is classified as inflammatory because what happens is there is pulpal necrosis the caries progress and our pulp it it dies so our pulp it dies and then there is pulpal necrosis and then there is periapical inflammatory response that is why it is classified as inflammatory cyst it occurs because of inflammation so this inflammation will stimulate the epithelial rest of malices. So it will stimulate the epithelial rest of malices which are found in the apical periodontal ligament and there will be formation of this granuloma here. So these epithelial rest of malices, they have a very important feature that they can differentiate into any type of epithelium, which means that they are pluripotent. Okay. So these cells, they play a central role in the formation of radicular cyst. So this granuloma, which is formed, it is a rich vascular area. So we have a lot of blood vessels here. We have a lot of blood vessels and we have immune cells like the lymphocytes, macrophages and the plasma cells. So this periapical granuloma provides a rich vascular area. So we have a lot of blood vessels here and the rest of malices proliferate and they eventually form a large mass of cells. Okay. And they continue to grow so much that they are deprived of nourishment because they lose their blood supply. All right. And because of which this will undergo liquefaction necrosis, liquefaction necrosis and hence what will happen the center will be liquefied let me change the color the center will be liquefied and hence a cavity is formed and then it is lined by epithelium that is why it is a cyst and it is called radicular cyst because it is associated with root sometimes the odontogenic rest of malices 
they can form islands of squamous epithelium and these squamous epithelium can be found in the granuloma and there would be no cystic transformation in that case and these are called as basist i told you i'm going to have problem basist so what is basist this is a periapical granuloma without cystic transformation and in this will have islands of squamous epithelium all right now coming to the clinical features let me erase all these things we all know that it is the most common cyst around 60% of all the jaw cyst are radicular cyst and we also know the location that it is present at the apex of the root now just keep in mind that this cyst is usually asymptomatic and usually this cyst will be found in routine dental examination this can occur in periapical area of any teeth primary dentition is very you know seldom involved so the tooth it will be painful to percussion okay it will be painful to percussion usually this does not destroy the bone because it is very small in size and does not cause any kind of cortical expansion one thing to keep in mind that this cyst is a chronic inflammatory response what do you understand by the term chronic chronic means that it develops over time it takes time to develop this cyst will take time to develop all right but sometimes what happens is there will be acute exacerbation of the inflammatory process means this was progressing slowly but achanak se kya hua the speed of progress became very fast and we call it the acute exacerbation of the inflammatory process and in that case an abscess will be formed which is called as the periapical abscess and then it can proceed to cellulitis cellulitis okay and then draining fistula etc okay now in the radiographic features obviously you will see a radio lucent area in the periapical region of variable size and it will be well delineated and you know it will have a marked radio opaque rim most likely but people have conducted many studies and they have indicated that it is not possible to you know establish the diagnosis of cyst or granuloma unless the lesion is larger than 2 cm in diameter and obviously it will cause root resorption of the adjacent teeth so if we have a teeth here it will cause a root resorption of this teeth because of its size obviously okay now this logical features we are going to study this logical features in a different video coming to the treatment so the treatment of radical cyst it consists of the extraction of the involved teeth and careful curettage of the periapical tissue what you do extract the teeth and you curettage this cyst sometimes you can also carry out root canal therapy and you can do a pisectomy of the cystic lesion so if you do the surgical procedure very thoroughly this cyst is not going to occur okay but if you leave some remnants here it will you know obviously reappear if you found the video helpful kindly don't forget to subscribe and share the video and press the like button also i'm not at all happy with the video because i did not have that cursor effect and that is really necessary for you know just you know keeping you all engaged i hope i get it fixed soon thanks for watching allah hafiz